so I have seen the numbers and it is upsetting. Black men, black women, wake up. Young black boys, young black girls, wake up. Ladies and gentlemen, sex, if you're going to be doing it, please do this first. Go and get tested. What's going on? It's your girl Kyra here, interpret of African American history and culture, motivational and spiritual speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a very important day with a very important conversation. Today we're going to talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby, because I am very scared for the state of the African American community and what our future looks like for our children. So please stay tuned and join me in this video for a very important message. Thank you all for joining and please share this video. So there are a few things that I definitely really want to make sure that I touched on. I've been saying all week how today when she speaks Wednesday segment is going to be very important. The first thing that I wanted to talk about was just sex in general. Y'all, our children are having sex. Our adults are having sex. Even some of our older elderly people are still having sex. But one of the things that they're not doing before they have sex is having conversations about it. And if they are having conversations about it, it's not a healthy conversation. They're just talking about what they want to do to each other or what they would do to each other or what they would do to that person or that one. But it's imperative for everyone, male, female, female, male, boy, girl, if you are going to be having sex, to sit down and talk to each other first before engaging in it. Because if you can't even just talk about it, should you really be doing it? A very important thing about um, sex in the vernacular that um, a lot of African-American men and women today that I've learned, quite a few are practicing something we like to call celibacy, meaning that they did have sex, but they decided to stop. You know, some may be just waiting till they find the love of their lives. And then there are others like me who are just wanting to wait until marriage. And, you know, celibacy is something that is important. If you want to call yourself actually establishing a, a basis for not just having to have sex all the time. You know what I mean? Like some people feel like they can't even be in a relationship with anyone if they're not able to have sex with that person. And celibacy is being practiced amongst, I, I mean, the numbers are steady rising. If I look um, just a moment ago, it was over 20% of people that are between the ages of 20 and 30 years old are saying that they would like to actually engage in celibacy. So definitely stay tuned because one little clip that I wanna make sure that I show you guys is of uh, this young lady talking about how celibacy is something that she is definitely taking on as she moves forward in her life. So I have seen the numbers and it is upsetting black men black women wake up young black boys young black girls wake up ladies and gentlemen sex if you're going to be doing it please do this first go and get tested go and get tested when i tell you when if I was involved in a relationship and everything, and if it was going to go there, but like I said, I always wanted to wait until marriage. Baby, one of the first things we are doing is going to get tested. Together. Together. Let me share something with you all for just a quick moment, okay? In 2018, African Americans, okay, accounted for 13% of the U.S. population. But of the HIV infections of that year 42 percent of the 38,000 new hiv diagnoses guess what 42 percent of those was made up by african-american people so 16,000 of that percentage were african-american people that had just contracted hiv and that's not even all y'all 79 percent of the new hiv infections that were transmitted in 2018 was through male to male contact then not to mention 15 percent of that was through heterosexual contact but that's not all y'all if you take a look at the numbers for women the way that they contracted hiv 92 percent of that was through heterosexual contact that's something to think about so 79 percent 
was male to male contact, but then 92%. So that means, ladies, this is what I'm trying to say to you. Don't just think that if your man is messing around on you, that he's messing with another woman. He could be messing with another man. That's why you better be really prayed up, baby, before you enter a relationship or if you're going into a marriage. Know who you are having sex with, please. I don't want to see my sisters and my brothers out here suffering. And their lives are completely transformed just by a split decision made in the heat of a moment. But look at this, ladies, because I want to say this to you all. Sister, hear me clearly. And come closer, come closer, listen to me. Most of the HIV infections, 51% of them came from people living in the South. But of the 51%, over half, 57% of the new HIV infections in that year time span was from African American women. 57% were black women. Something's not adding up. And I'm going to say this. 67% of the black women that were living with HIV at that time, the numbers, even though they slowed a little bit, each time the numbers are steady growing amongst African American women. So what does that tell you? You need to be looking at your partner very closely. You need to be asking him, who is he messing with? Or if you are in a same sex relationship, you need to be asking, who is she messing with? Men, the same goes for you. And let me, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing that does piss me off. Woo! Let me tell y'all one thing that piss, woo! If you down low, you low down and you better believe, you better believe, honey, you gonna reap what you sow. If you know that you like men, go be with men. Don't sit here and have my sisters out here suffering. Go be with men if you want to be with the man. Don't marry no woman. Don't sit here and try to be in a relationship with no woman. Go be with the man. And ladies, if you get just an inkling that something is not right, pray on that. Pray on that thing. Ooh, you got to seek God's guidance and you got to seek his face. Because he going to reveal it to you. Oh, if you are in a relationship and God knows you have a pure heart with the person that you are with, that you are doing right by this person, honey, you better believe God is looking out for you every step of the way. He is looking out for you every step of the way. So y'all just please remember what I said. STDs, and I'm saying HIV because y'all, it's not curable. But there's so many other STDs. Syphilis, gonorrhea, hepatitis A, B, and C, not to mention chlamydia, and not to mention gonorrhea. Y'all, the numbers are steady climbing. And herpes, y'all, you can't get rid of herpes. That's why if you, and here's the thing, most places will not even test for it. So when you go in to ask to get tested, make sure you tell them, test me for everything that there is. So you can walk out of there with a clean mind, clean body, and clean conscience. But... Let me tell you one way. I will definitely help y'all out, ladies. Once you go and get tested, Matt, this is why it's important to get tested when you enter the relationship, when you all decide you're going to have sex together. If you're going to do this, go get tested together. Then, about three or four months into the relationship, don't tell him. Uh-uh, don't tell him. Go and get tested by yourself. Because if you've been faithful and you only been dealing with him and men, the same can go for you all. If you only been dealing with that one person and you know you ain't slept with nobody else, once you go and get tested and they say you come back with this, it's time to have a conversation. And some of y'all, I don't even think some of y'all will be calm enough to have no conversation, but don't do nothing that's going to get you locked up for the rest of your life, okay? Be calm, stay cool. Because I know, yeah, somebody giving you an STD, you ready to throw down, like on sight, on site. <laughs> but y'all, please go get tested. Please. A lot of women want to abstain from sex. A lot of women um, are still virgins. I didn't even realize. I met, um, it was a friend of mine. I will never forget in college. He was still a virgin. And, you know, that's something that's very rare in college. You know, because it seems like everyone around you is having sex. But abstinence. There are a lot of people like... Me, I was on that track, and I thought I hadn't met the man I was going to marry, but you know, oh well. God, my husband is coming. He is coming, and I can't wait to meet him, you know. But um, 
a lot of people are waiting until marriage to have sex. Like that means that they're completely abstinent. They've never had sex and they're just waiting until they are married. And this comes from a very religious aspect or even some people who are not religious may do this. But for me, I'm a Christian woman and you know, I repented of my sins and everything and I hate that I didn't wait, but a lot of people still have it intact. They are virtue, their virtue is still intact. They are abstinent and they not letting nobody touch them unless it's their husband or wife. And I think this is so beautiful. And when you're, if this is you, ladies and gentlemen, and you are abstinent and you are wanting to wait until marriage to have sex, pray on that thing because temptation is a Temptation is something else, y'all, because in the midst that you really are strong in your abstinence, that is when the enemy will try to trick you and he's going to send someone your way to try to make you break your abstinence. OK, so make sure you guys make sure just make sure that if you are going to be abstinent, you got to stay prayed up y'all the whole time. You got to stay prayed up. Um, I know for a lot of people, you know, if they are abstinent, they try to be upfront about it. For me, ladies, this is what I would say to you all. Like, if you're getting involved with someone and, you know, we know that people want to have sex. People are having sex nowadays. And you wonder, like, when do I bring up about me not being able to engage in sex? I would say, wait till he brings up the subject of sex. And then, you know, when he brings it up, then you can mention that to him and say, like, hey, I'm not, you know, looking to engage in sexual activity. Look at the way he responds. If he is sketchy by any means, just take that into consideration. Because if he says, okay, yes, that's cool. But then he starts to pressure you and he's starting to make it seem like he can't do this. Then like, oh, that's okay. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Mm. That's okay. It's cool. See, I, there's certain things I wish I would have done differently. So that's why I'm like, you go on about your way. You find somebody who you can be able to be all up in their panties. But it's not going to happen here. I told y'all I was going to be real about this thing. This is really important. Abstinence. If you are going to do it, don't let nobody make you feel bad otherwise. Stay abstaining. Stay keeping your virtue. Stay keeping your body for God. Your body is a temple. God gave you this body to use to glorify him. So it is okay, baby. And guess what? I stand with you. I stand with you. And I'm praying for you, baby. Keep abstaining. Ain't nothing wrong with it. y'all our babies are having babies now i saw a video the other day this girl was 14 years old having a baby pregnancy is another fear if you're still living in your mama's house and if you still ride the school bus you don't need to be having sex y'all i know it seemed like i'm going out throughout this whole video but i, I i'm I love my community too much to see us slip up and continue to mess up. Because long before, it's going to be where things are just getting worse and worse and worse. And I don't want that to happen. And a lot of people don't even know, I'm going back to the STD thing right now, but a lot of people don't even know that they're carrying the virus or carrying these STDs. So that's why I say you need to get tested first beforehand. But I am going to say this about pregnancy. If you do end up pregnant, don't go it alone. Don't feel like you have nowhere to go. Hey, reach out to me if you just need somebody to talk to. I don't mind talking to you, whoever you are. I don't mind talking to you, whatever your situation may be. I don't care if you're gay, straight, bisexual, uh, um, you know, whatever it is. Please, because I want all of my brothers and sisters to be happy and healthy. I want everyone to be happy and healthy. And one of the best ways that you can do this is by talking this thing through. So if you get pregnant, ladies, don't go it alone. If the guy ain't no good and he full of ish, tell your mother. Um, I know a lot of girls be scared to tell their fathers, but tell your father, tell your grandmother, tell your aunt, a best friend, somebody. But you can prevent this by using protection. Now, I'm not one for birth control, but definitely if you're going to be doing it, get on birth control. I'm not really one for birth control because I don't really just, you know, like I don't like the the after effects and all that other crap that comes with it i'm just not i'm just not with that i'm just not with that but please get on birth control because you don't want to sit here and be 17 and you got a application to go to howard university in the fall and then next thing you know over the summertime you and your man had a really good time one night and you slipped up and guess what next thing you know here comes the baby coming in July. You uh, take a pregnancy test because you ain't been feeling well and stuff. And guess what? You pregnant. 
So those plans, baby, heading up to uh, Howard have been put on pause. I don't want that to happen to anyone. And I'm not saying anything's wrong. You know, everyone makes their own decisions. You know, blessings. Um, babies are a blessing from God. But they are they can be either a blessing or it can feel like a curse in the moment where you're not ready and prepared. And I have met so many young women who talked about, man, if I just would have waited. Or man, if I just would. Because God give you signs too. Like, you know how a lot of women get mad at the dude that they was messing with and having sex with and be like, oh, he ain't about nothing. He ain't this is. You know he wasn't nothing before you laid down with him. Now you want to get mad when he be like, I don't want no baby. He showed you during the dating stage and during whatever situationship or relationship stage that he wasn't about ish. Now you want to get mad because he don't want to play daddy. You knew he didn't want to do that in the beginning. That's why you don't mess with somebody who got very, very different values than you do. So if pregnancy is something that it occurs from you having sex, Please talk to someone. Don't go it alone. If you're thinking about getting an abortion, don't go it alone. Now, I'm not saying I, I, I'm not for it. I, I am. I'm, I uh, don't believe in abortion, but I do believe that every woman has a choice to do what they want to do with their own body. So therefore, if you know that you're not capable or able or just don't want to, that is okay. That is absolutely okay. I don't want you to think that it's not. And don't let nobody try to convince you and say that it's not. Your body is your body. You're the one that would have to carry the child. You're the one that have to deal with that weight gain and everything. It's going to be mostly on you during the pregnancy stage. That's just the truth. Men, yes, it takes two to make a baby, but he ain't got to carry no dying baby. So I guess I don't want to hear what you got to say. <laughs> so a pregnancy is a factor that could happen from having sex. But if it does happen, pray about it, talk to someone. And if you don't have nobody to talk to, come talk to me, your sister girl, Kyra. Because I'm here for you, baby. I'm here. Condoms, condoms, condoms. Okay, so I'm going to go through a few things because right now I want to talk about protection. Hello, protection. Protection is important. Um, Protection is important because, well... We're not trying to have kids before we're ready. We're not trying to catch any STDs or STIs. So this is what I'm going to say. Three things. They have a drug. Like, so let's say for men, if you are involved with other men, um, I believe women can take this drug as well too, but they don't really just promote it for heterosexual couples. It's called PrEP. It's a drug to kind of help um, from, pre from preventing, excuse me, preventing the transmission of HIV. And... I know a few people that, you know, they say that they take it and I don't know anything about it. Like I said, I, I don't take this. I don't, none of that. But PrEP is something you should definitely look into. P-R-E-P, -E PrEP. Look it up on, um, on Google or whatever or on YouTube. Listen to people talk about who's taking it and stuff before. Check it out. It's important because, you know, like I said, a lot of people are engaged in same-sex relationships. And, you know, I forgot to say this too. If you do um, decide to take this drug, make sure you know everything about it. Because I'm pre I'm not just saying go out and get the, the prep drug, but I am saying do your research on it, okay? So make sure you do your research on it. Secondly, let's talk about condoms. It don't take but like, what, 20 seconds to put on a condom. Condoms, condom, condoms. It can protect from pregnancy. It can protect from STDs and STIs. Make sure that you know how to put a condom on right. If you don't know how to put it on, practice on a banana or go and watch a YouTube video. You're supposed to let the little tip, you're supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be some room and stuff in there. You pull it, put it on too tight and that thing pop. Next thing you know, whoosh, your children all up inside your womanly parts and it ain't going to be good. And, you know, I think that it's important for women to also have their own con like if you're gonna if you're gonna do this like i said i would well, i wish everyone would uh try their best to wait until marriage or you know practice celibacy but if you are gonna have sex please 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 ladies don't just rely on a man to bring the protection have your own protection and make sure you practice first if you don't know how to do it make sure you practice first y'all it's no embarrass embarrassment in not knowing how to put on a condom but it is embarrassing to be sitting here and be like, oh, um, I had unprotected sex. Okay, so you had sex and you didn't wear a condom. Now that's embarrassing. 
that's embarrassing and then three weeks later you're not feeling well and you don't know what it could be we used to always say oh you got to worry about pregnancy but baby the same way that you can catch things that are curable like stds such as syphilis gonorrhea chlamydia they are curable that same instinct where it could have easily not been chlamydia and it could have been hiv so I'm, I'm 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 telling you think about protection um they also have this uh drug called it's called pep and this is if you feel like you've been exposed to the HIV virus. And so what happens is you'll take this within like 72 hours after you've had sexual contact with a person. So make sure that you look these up. P-E-P, -P, PEP, okay? It's important to know these things, y'all. Like when I say that so many people had never heard of this and so many people did not know, like in our community, black community, that over 67% of the 50% of HIV infections that happened in the South were black women, 67%. Y'all, that breaks, that breaks my heart because we're better than this. We're better than that. And I just wish that we would better protect ourselves. Like, let me tell you something about me. I go and make sure, like I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything, but I go and make sure every four months, let me get tested so I can know that I am clean. I like to see it on pepper, okay? I like to see it on pepper. You know what I mean? So make sure you're protecting yourselves. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. No glove, no love. If you want to be sitting over here and just raw dogging, or right name, whatever the term may be for you. If you want to be raw dogging and just, just sleeping with folks and don't think nothing can happen to you, ask the thousands that thought it would never happen to them. And I'm going to say this too. Ladies, watch him put it on. I just read a story of this guy who, uh, he saw the, the boy put on the condom. You know, it was, yeah, it was a same sex relationship situation. He saw him put it on and then guess what happened? He said in the midst of it, somehow he couldn't understand because later on a guy told him that, no, the you know, it was actually a defective condom. He's like, the condom, he saw him put it on. The guy tampered with the condom before he put it on. He ended up catching HIV. I'm going to link these stories that I'm talking about down below. I'm going to link the statistics so you can see it for yourself, honey. Don't take my word for it. I'm going to link all of this in the description below comment on this video y'all please let me know like if you have ever had a situation or if you felt scared i want to know how you all feel please talk to your girl talk to your girl so ladies and gentlemen i hope that this video has opened your eyes to understand what is going on here in the south and particularly like i said you know i'm from the south i still live in the south and i want us to stay protected i want us to stay alert stay alarmed and to stay up to date i want us to protect ourselves please ladies protect yourselves please gentlemen protect yourselves it's so 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 important if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my youtube channel down below please share this video share this video i want this information to get out there to as many people as we possibly can follow me on social media Media. the links are below in the description box as well and i know i know i know we gonna do better y'all i know we're going to do better and i'm praying for each of you i want us to stay safe so bad i want us to keep pushing and pulling forward and make god proud but y'all know what i always say remember what i always always say remember no much no matter what y'all Stay up and stay blessed. Y'all be easy and have a wonderful day.